Hi, welcome back to Thrift Shop Hauls UK. The channel is back. Um, this, hence you see from the title, um, is because I have just gone officially full time as a vintage clothing reseller. Selling on Depop, eBay, the likes. Um, yeah, I was doing the channel like two or three times a week about two months ago. Um, but I moved in with some of my uni mates just for like the last hurrah pretty much before we graduated. Um, so Depop kind of like put on the back burner. Um, I wasn't doing it as much. Um, and so, so I just stopped filming for a little bit. But now um, I have moved back home after uni. I'm officially a Surrey University graduate. I've uh, got a 2-1 doing business studies. Business studies? No. Uh, business management um, with marketing um, yeah it's like kind of relevant I guess but I um, yeah I guess while I did that I learned a few things about running a business not really a bit irrelevant a bit of a pointless degree if I'm honest uh, but it helped me find out that I wanted to run my own business uh, and that this was the kind of thing I wanted to do so it was a stepping stone on the path to becoming this. Um, so yeah, as of Monday, I moved home where I am now. I'm back living with my parents, which is here and there. You know, it means I'm with my parents and I'm living, you know, cheap rent and stuff, cook meals, which is grand. But I don't live with my parents. I was kind of hoping to be with some mates post uni, well, like I was at uni and not like stepping back. But hey, it does mean that I get this grand studio. Uh, I've turned my brother's bedroom uh, into a studio because he doesn't live here anymore um, with his permission and I'll give you a quick tour of that in a moment because uh, it's looking good um, yeah so I've moved back here it's okay but as a Monday I am officially full time much in other videos I said I'm basically full time but this is me moving in committing to it you know hours each day um, listing, picturing and things. It's an exciting time. Um, I've basically given myself a year to try this out, um, make a wage, see if it's, um, you know, something I actually enjoy doing because I can imagine perks of reselling like this. You know, it's something I'm very passionate about. I love vintage clothing. Uh, I've always loved the idea of working for myself, not having a boss, you know, my own hours. Um, not just doing manual labor for someone else's profit and benefit. I'm just, all the hard work that I do, I get to reap the rewards of, um, which I love the idea of. Um, and yeah, it means that I get to set my own wage. You know, the more I put in, the more money I get, um, which is great. Um, things that are potential setbacks though, it's quite a lonely job. At the end of the day, you are just working by yourself in whatever your working setup is, at quite a few hours a day. Um, so it's key. I'm pretty sure that I need to, you know, in the evenings, have a lot of time to go out and see people. I do have a lot of friends that live near me that I can go and see, which is I'm really hoping, which is good to keep hobbies going. Um, yeah, so that's a negative, but I think I can work through that. Um, our negatives is it, you know, I don't actually know how much wage I'm going to make. Um, I'm estimating around 20 to 30k for the year, which I'd be happy with. You know, that's as much as my friends are making in their graduate role jobs. If they, if they get jobs, a lot of them are currently going to be unemployed in the foreseeable future due to the C word, um, COVID, not the other one. Uh, so. Yeah, we will see. Exciting times. Um, so yeah, that's uh, I guess the intro to this video. Um, I had it prepared, a little structure, but it's just gone from the top of my head. So um, yeah, I guess next up would be what I'm imagining 
my life will be like as a full-time reseller. So it's currently Friday, funky show up Friday. You're welcome, Jack. Dainty, if you're watching, I hope so. If you're not, Jack, um, go give him a follow. He is the number one seller of funky shirts on Depop. He has the best collection out there. I got this bad boy uh, in a charity shop about three days ago uh, for four quid. I'm in love. It's stunning. Um, yeah, he's the king of funky shirts, so go drop him a follow. Um, anyway, yeah, today's our Friday, so first week of reselling has been, I got here Monday, uh, and the first two days were basically me demolishing my brother's bedroom and turning it into what my studio is now. Um, but that's, you know, one off. Uh, so the next few weeks is going to be a lot of admin. It's going to be me sorting out my taxes properly because um, I'm going to have to buy quite a few um, things I can put on like business expenses. Like I'm going to treat myself to a big old uh, PC. Um, I'm going to buy some rails to put clothes on. I'm going to get some better boxes than the ones I've got because they're falling apart. Um, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's admin things. There's still a few bits of storage that I need to fix around. For the most part, it's done. Um, after that, I'm imagining my, my sort of weekly schedule will be weekends, I'll be out sourcing for car boots during summer. Um, so that's Saturday, Sunday mornings. I'll probably then give myself Saturdays and Sundays off after that, so I have like a proper weekend. Um, and then during summer, while I've got car boots, I won't be chat shopping as much, I'll probably go one or two times a week. I've got like two good routes I go on, there's like three towns in each direction that I go on. I'll do that just like every week, see what stock they're updating. Um, so that'll be two days a week. Then the rest of my time will be listing that, uh, which will probably take four or five hours picturing, listing everything, I'm imagining. Um, then posting, I will probably do, I think I'm going to aim to do it every day. If not every day, then at least every other day. Just because now I am full time, I don't have a really excuse to be late with my posting. Customers like their items arriving like two days after they buy it. So I'm going to do my best to stick to that. Um, yeah, that'll be the highlights. And then I'll do a lot of filming, I think. I'm going to try and keep this channel regularly updated. I think that'll keep me <laughs> entertained, uh, make me feel like I've got someone, like a colleague, you know. Um, so I'll do a lot of like trip to the thrift videos. I'm going to buy myself a GoPro as well actually, so I can like properly film things. Uh, the car boots and charity shops and stuff, so I'm not just walking around on my phone looking like a weirdo. Um, and then I'll do, probably once a week I'll do like what's sold over the weekend, because I'll get like two or three days worth of stuff uh, to ship at once. Um, and then just every video, every now and then, just general videos, like I've got a few ideas, I've got, uh, you know, how to identify 90 shirts, uh, what it's like in the average day of a reseller, etc, etc, you know, your classics. Um, yeah, so, um, that's going to be me. I'm also going to be repicturing all of my stock with a model, which is either myself or I've got... Um, a friend that's gonna like model sweatshirts and girl clothes and things to see how that works. I've noticed Jamie, if you're watching, I think Jamie watches this. Jamie uh, online is probably right now one of the most successful Depop sellers I'm seeing. They have somehow managed to source an absolute crap load of, oh shit, I was playing with the tripod. Um, shit load of like the Nike hoodies and sweatshirts that are going for 100 plus quid right now. Don't know why people are buying it for that much, but well done for selling for that much. Jamie, fortune, like, it's mad. He's doing well, but I've noticed he sells a lot of his stuff on like, um, uh, just a nice sort of girl model, female model, um, and that's clearly doing well. So I've done that. I'm hoping that's going to give me a boost in sales. Because actually, during lockdown, my sales, if you saw my videos, were booming. I was selling like double more than usual. 
is very, very good time to be an online seller. However, ever since the shops opened and I moved in with my friends and I went to start downloading my sales, it just plummeted um, to the point where last week I, was in, I wasn't even in the top 1,000 worldwide, which for me is not good. I aim to be top 200, top 250 minimum. Um, so that was a bad week. But now I literally yesterday, Wednesday, I got my friend around to do modeling. Uh, and we got through about 200 items of my death pile. Um, so I'll be listing those bit by bit over the next few days and hopefully I'll start to see a boost in sales now. Fingers crossed. Yeah, so I think that's all I thought I should blag about. Um, if you do have any questions about what's like a full time reseller, do drop them below. Um, if you want to see my page, I'm at John Leach on Depop. Um, I am um, Fish Up Pools UK on Instagram. Pretty much all I got. If you are watching this in the future, I am hoping to create a website um, in the next month or two. Um, just because I don't want to be relying on one um, source, uh, sort of one site. Um, so I'm going to make a website, I think, to try and boost sales. I'm going to market that properly so I can integrate my Depop into a website, see how that goes. I also think soon I'm going to be on ASOS Marketplace. Um, ASOS Marketplace, if you don't know, is like Depop, but it's like owned by ASOS. And it's called ASOS Marketplace. Um, so it's like anyone can sell on it. Um, difference is they take a 20% cut instead of a 10% cut like Depop do. And you have to pay £20 a month fee to be a seller as well. Only reason I haven't done them before is that they try to maintain a very high level of standard. Whereas Depop, literally anyone, you know, your, your nan can go and sell what you know her old clothes on Depop if she wants to. Um, whereas ASOS tries to make it much more professional. Um, so you can't, you know, chuck something on your bed and take a picture. They require all their, uh, everything you sell on there to be like modelled. Um, they don't even have flat lays or hanger photos. Um, so now that I've got the space, you'll notice this. Um, now that I've got the space to be modelling, and I've got actually, my, I'll be modelling. I can be modelling. I might go on there just for another source of income. See how that goes. Yeah. So watch out for those two people in the future. But I don't currently have tags for them. So whatever. Um, and without further ado, I guess I'll show you what I've done to my brother's bedroom slash my new studio. So, um, I will just do this, I guess. <laughs> um, no, I'm just gonna... So walking in, we've got my brand new photo shoot area of that chair it's just got a seam on it just now that's not that long but yeah i've got a nice my blue my classic blue background which does well for me uh but it's now pinned up against the wall rather than hanging against my thing or on the floor um which is nice um and it's perfect size for modeling i've then gone and treated myself to a tripod and this um like proper photography light um and that seems to be working. I got my friend around the other day, uh, and that's done really well. These things, this uh, light was about 20 quid on Amazon, and the tripod about 10. So not a big investment at all. Um, and yeah, that's taken up a lot of the space, to be fair, but that's fine. Um, this is what I've been waiting for, because back at uni, I just did not have the space to be doing this kind of setup. Um, down here is going to be slowly pick up my death pile of things I need to picture and list. Um, just so it's right next to where I photo shoot things. Um, there's a lot of stuff on the floor currently just because I've had that shoot uh, and I've got so much stuff to list. This is everything that we got through the other day to picture. It's a lot of stuff. There's more. Uh, and I've already put like 30 things up already. Then we have storage. Behind those items you'll see boxes. We've got two big ones there. We've got some cardboard ones there. Cardboard there. Then my dream... Calax sat up here, got some IKEA a year ago for 60 quid, I believe. Uh, this works perfectly. 
to store all my t-shirts and polos, shirts and things. Um, it's all very well organized. You've got you know, some designer ones there, sort of lesser ones there. You've got sportswear there, vintage ones there, etc. Sports, you know, football tops and things. Yeah, it's all very nicely set out. I love a Kallax. It makes me very, makes my OCD very tasty. I'm also hoping to decorate above it this year with some nice little things. I've left a few things at home. I've got a few like plushes. I've also got these little sweatshop uh, toys. Sweatshop, if you don't know, is my favorite brand. They're a brand that uh, went bust in the 90s, but made the waviest like granddad jumpers. Um, and things. I'm also going to start building a tag collection, I think. Uh, so this is your sort of classic uh, 90s Nike tag that you'll see all the dead stock crusaders own right now. I've just got a Stone Island badge. And this one is sick. This came from a 1991 t-shirt, um, NFL, NFL t-shirt I've got. Uh, that I was sitting for ages, but I finally decided to keep it for myself because it is just too damn precious. I only got it for four pounds. So I'm not losing money. Yeah, uh, I've got more storage there. Um, all my shoes down here, this is a mess. I need to sort these out. Um, one annoying thing is that all these cupboards are actually owned by my mum. <laughs> so I cannot get access to them, nor can I block them off, which sucks, but hey, it's a compromise. And then here I've put in a desk, which is gonna be where I am. 90% of the time where I list things and measure things and post and pack things. Yeah, so down here we've got all my parcel bags and then in here just all my like supplies and uh, whatnot. Uh, got shoelaces in there that I need to wash. Yeah, um, that is basically it. Um, so yeah, I am very excited. So that's basically it. Um, don't really have too much more else to say um, beyond the fact that I'm very, very excited for what is ahead. Uh, I've got a lot of plans uh, to build a brand, bring in income. Um, yeah. Done, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you've got any questions about um, what it's like for me, um, or just any questions about Depop in general, comment below, drop me a message on Instagram or Depop. Um, if you like anything you see that I sell, uh, again, do your message, I'll give you uh, some kind of YouTube discount. Um, yeah, see you next time for the trip to the thrift when I sold videos. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>